The item costs $9.99. What is the correct data type for workflows when you want to input values like that? Hi, my name is Andreas Sense and this video is part of a series on business process automation. Today, I'll talk about the correct data type for currency values when the user has to input values for prices, for example. When you write a workflow specification, you have different data types for your variables. One of the most general data types is string. You can input any number of characters or digits, for example. Another data type is integer, or another one is floating point, boolean, date, and so on and so forth. For each of these data types, the workflow management system creates fields for the input of these data. For example, when you have an integer data type and you input two characters like AB, the system will just tell you that this is not a correct value for this data type. So what is the correct data type for currency values like $9.99? Well, the first choice might be to take a floating point approach where you have the dot somewhere and you can directly enter 9.99. But this has some disadvantages. For example, depending on how the logic is implemented, when you have two values and you add them up like 0 0.51 plus 0 0.49, then this should normally yield 1, but sometimes the result may be something like 0 0.9999 and so on. So you have these rounding errors that appear in unexpected situations. So one approach for choosing the correct data type would be to use two fields, one for the whole numbers and another one with just two digits for the cents. So you would have the dollars and the cents in two different fields. And then you would restrict the cents field to values from 0 to 99. Another solution is to use just an integer field for cents and then have some kind of formatting to inform the user where the dot is actually located. And so you would only input cent values and the cent values would be just moved somewhere to the left. And this is an approach which is also used in some calculating machines, for example. So, okay, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Bye-bye.